one of the students, uh, graduating seniors on the Combo Counter project. Uh, for this video, I'd like to talk about uh, our shortcomings in the wish list. Uh, just due to the current situation of everything right now, we decided to uh, record our video separately uh, to adhere to social distancing. Uh, so starting off, uh, Combo Counter is a application that works with a hardware component. Um, it's very similar to what you would have uh, in a boxing mat, like a boxing gym, uh, that would record force, your punches, etc., uh, and allow you to train, but also share data socially. Um, and so due to the fact that I had a hardware component, one of the biggest shortcomings that we had for this project was that we were unable to get the hardware component. Uh, it just wouldn't work for the current you know, status of everything. We were starting the project during the lockdown. Um, and so that was probably one of the biggest issues we had. Uh, as far as the application is concerned, we spend most of our energy here. And one of the biggest problems that I personally face on this one uh, is due to the fact that I'm using a virtual machine. Uh, this application uh, needs to run on a Windows PC uh, to, use, to use Visual Studio and the Windows Form Library. And so using the, uh, using the virtual machine, I ran into some uh, to issues with sizing that my partner didn't have on his computer because he has a native PC. So I can show you here, for example, uh, some things aren't centered as we would like them to be. As you can see, this is actually blowing out a proportion of my screen. And we couldn't really find a, uh, a solution for it on my Mac. But as you can look here in one of our screenshots, that it actually works here. And when you go to different pages, it actually proportions the size. And so we didn't worry too much about it on my computer since my computer wouldn't be running the program. I'm running a Mac, and so we wouldn't be running off a virtual machine. Uh, as far as our wish list, uh, there was two of us. And so we had to prioritize what exactly we were going to do. Uh, one of the biggest things we look forward to in the future is adding more features. Uh, some of the most important features you want to add was um, having the ability to uh, have two, more than two players play at once at request of, of the PO. The current setup, or the current layout of some of the screens, we would have to revamp everything. And so we decided to put that off and allow whoever's behind us to take that on. Uh, and we can look at some here. You want to allow more themes for the user. As of right now, we have a dark mode, a light mode, and the original theme that uh, version 2.0 had. We also want to set a handicap for the sensor. Again, we don't have uh, possession of the sensor, so we're not sure how it was calibrated to begin with or what sensors it was using. So we decided to do without that and move that on to the next, uh, where it would take on after us. Um, we. We were understanding that, uh, we found this out later, that the application and the Arduino did not connect uh, for whatever reason. And again, because we didn't have physical uh, possession of the, the Arduino or the bag, we couldn't tackle that. Um, you want to make uh, just adjust more room for the user interface or visual feedback. Uh, the PL did request some, um, some other features, like one to uh, show like the passive values of every hit. And um, so we, we weren't willing to add that because we had to move some things around as, as well. Um, and here's, you know, you can read some others here, but those are probably the biggest ones that we would look for the future. Um, also, we were thinking about adding uh, an endurance mode. Uh, basically, you would set a time and uh, you would run into that time. And once that time hits, it would, um, it would stop versus counting up and you, know, and, and you choosing to stop. Uh, another one was to... I believe I mentioned this before, but revising the, the um, revising how the sensor reads input uh, when it hits, just have a way to calibrate. For example, here, um, if you look here, we have a scaling, and so you can change how the scale reacts for each user. Uh, and so the way that's calculated now, you want to calculate that in a different way. And uh, yeah, so thank you so much for this project, and we appreciate uh, Mike. Mike Bucar, hoping I'll put your name, and um, FIU for giving us opportunity. Go Panthers.